Asians, what's up? Patrick Wolf here. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different kind of video. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of people in my comments uh, commenting about their skill builds, how they run them, how many, how much skill power they have, and I just would like to make a video explaining the do's and don'ts of making a skill power build because I can see a lot of people don't know what they're doing and they are actually hindering themselves in many ways. So I hope this video helps you guys. It's just a little bit of uh, a guide to making the right skill build because there's a lot of things you guys need to know. So let's get into this video. First of all, on the specializations, it's important to to note a few a few things. So if we go into dem demolitionist, for example, you have various different talents that you can unlock. So uh, you get things like uh, crisis response. When armor is reduced to zero, it falls on men with arrow. But that's not what we are going to be talking about today. Uh, if you have a look over here, this is more towards explosive skills. So if you guys want to make, let's say, a firefly build, a seeker mine build, you would use demolitionist. Now, why would that be? It's because explosive damage right here, explosive ordinance, 25% increased explosive damage. This affects grenade skills. So things like the bombardier drone or the um, firefly, the explosive firefly, all uses this increased explosive damage. So just keep that in mind. If you guys want to use an explosive damage build uh, with those skills, you need to use the demolitionist for that reason. Then if we go into here, if you guys do not want to use an explosive build and you want to use maybe things like the turret, uh, obviously we don't need explosive damage. Uh, obviously healing, well, first of all, uh, you need to look over here, guys. So if you go to crunch time, while in cover, gain 10% skill cooldown reduction, which will be changed to skill haste in the coming title update 5. So this will be skill haste. So this will give you an additional 10% cooldown reduction, which is quite important. So if you guys want to use any kind of healing, or I would recommend using this in a skill power build because you get this 10% cooldown reduction. But in general, you should always pay attention to the specializations as they mean a lot and they are different in a few ways. For example, healing is, you get if you want to use the Mender Mine, obviously you're going to have to use this, but uh, this is where Triage Specialist comes into play. Now, if you want to be using a healing build, you want to be able to heal your teammates, where it be the Hive or the Chem Launcher, 15% increased outgoing healing. So that's just a little bit of a... a a note there for you guys for the um, specializations and why they're so important. You see, if you look over here, we don't really get anything that promotes skills. Um, you do get the headshot uh, damage, but only works for rifles and marksman rifles. So I think you guys understand where I'm coming from. All right, guys. So I've put on my explosive build. This is going to be, I think, the strongest build in Title Update 5. I don't want to make a video about this because I currently made one. It's called the Explosive Barrage build. It's a. This is pretty much a, bit, a little bit of a min-maxed version of it, which you guys are going to be seeing now. So I'm going to show you guys how to mod your skills and why having a lot of skill power currently right now in the game is a waste due to the, the skill cap, the damage skill cap. So let's get into this. So this is my explosive barrage ball that I made a video on. I'll link it in the description if you guys would like to watch it. This is basically what it is. Now, when you're making a skill build, you do not want to stack more than 2,300 skill power. Now, there's a reason for that, guys. Um, obviously, it depends what skills you want to use. But if we go into my Firefly, for example, and we go towards its um, this one here. So we'd be using the Burster Firefly. So this has a cooldown of 15 seconds, which is actually really, really good. Uh, it does a lot of damage. So what happens is you don't want to put too much cooldown because currently cooldown is ma is maxed out. So let me give you guys a little bit of, of a of a show of how to, why I'm saying this. So I've got a mod with 25.5% cooldown reduction. Now modding your skills is very important very very important before you make your build you need to come here and you need to do this you guys want to put your best gear pieces on that give you everything else tankiness um, armor if you you want to be able to use the pieces of gear that you want don't just put pieces on because they have the highest roll skill power this is the first thing you do when you're making a skill build you go into your skill and as you can see oh let's just go back for a second my skill power is only 1800 and yet all those mods are active. So keep that in mind, 1800 guys. So right here, 
auxiliary batteries. This is how you increase it by that much. So this, remember 1800, this requires 1900. I can, it's active, it's currently active because I put an auxiliary battery. Auxiliary batteries go up to, I think, just over 900. So always, always come here, put your auxiliary batteries on and see if all your mods are activated first before going crazy and wasting all your rolls on skill power because then you would rather go for cooldown reduction, which we're going to get into just now. So as you can see, 25.5% cooldown reduction. Now, if I put it over there, you can see the cooldown goes to 38 seconds, so it makes a big difference. And then if I go to my other mod, I've got an additional 26% cooldown reduction, guys. That's over 50% cooldown just from two mods. And these mods are quite hard to find. You have to craft them, which I will show you in a minute. So I, once I've... I just wanted to show you guys the first steps towards making a build. So the Seeker Mine as well. This is a good, this is a good um, example about damage. So... Currently, I've got 16.2% damage. If I take that away, the damage only goes up by 28,000, which is actually quite significant. Um, if you go to the other mod, Seeker Skill Power, this gives me all the skill power needed. Obviously, here, this is another example um, that I want to show you guys, is why putting too much skill power is not really that good. So this gives me an additional 900. So I can put 900 here. And I could potentially put, I think there's another slot right here. So you would have, I don't have one at the moment, but you would have another one. So they'll give you 1800 skill power. So that would give me what I need. But I have tested it with having more skill power and the damage does not go that high. I could go up to about half, uh, half a million damage and every increment, every few hundred skill power only raises it by like 0.1. So it isn't worth it. It isn't worth specking into massive amounts of skill power. You would rather go for insane cooldowns because my cooldown is only 41 seconds. So once you guys have set up all your mods, that, that was just a little example. Don't, don't overdo the damage. Now, keep in mind, title update 5 is coming up. And we are going to be getting massive caps to damage. So keep your mods. Don't do that now. It's not worth it. Rather go for cooldown and Always do your skills first and max it out as much as you can. Keep your high skill builds because we don't know the cap of damage yet. The PTS is currently out. I'm going to be doing all the testing I can do for you guys, so I'll let you guys know. But this is just for now until the title update actually comes out. I want to show you guys how to actually roll this. So once you guys have done your skills, you know how much skill power you need through the auxiliary batteries. Now you can move on to your skill build. So then you can put all the pieces, pieces that you need um, because you don't want to just be putting... oh. Oh, th this had more skill power, so let me just pop that on. You don't need it. For different skills, there's different th things that you want to be using. So I just wanted to show you guys why it's so important to get auxiliary batteries and to go to the testing range and just see if I put 28% damage, uh, is it worth it? Should I rather put 15% uh, damage and have maybe more damage on my build or more cooldown reduction, which is pretty good. So if you look at this build, a 15 second firefly, what do we have here? Uh, my cooldown reduction is 31%. That does not sound that high. The cap are somewhere between 60 and 90. I'm not actually sure, but you don't need that because if we if we actually max out the cooldown for this, let me just alter my build and then we'll I'll edit the video and quickly and just to jump to it so you can see. Uh, let's see how much lower we can get than 15 with more. All right, guys. So what I've done is I've put on two different pieces that give me a lot higher cooldown reduction, just to show you guys why the difference doesn't make sense. So if we go to stats over here and we're going to go all the way down, I was at 31% cooldown reduction. Now I'm at 55. So what has that done for my firefly? It was currently at 15 uh, second cooldown. All my uh, cooldown reduction mods are actually active right now. It's on 10 seconds, so we gained 5 seconds uh, on the cooldown, but lowered by 5. And that's pretty good, but... Okay, so let, let me show you guys something quickly. So, keep this in mind. 55% skill cooldown reduction. So if we take off this backpack, from 55, back to what I had it. So, we'll keep the mask on. So from 55% cooldown to 47% cooldown. We go over here. It is the same. It's exactly the same as what it was with the few more percent 
uh, it doesn't change guys so it these skills are capped at 10 seconds do not overdo it it takes quite a bit of patience and uh, you know a lot of tweaking to your build to make sure you're not going over it like i said with the seeker mine the seeker mine has a damage cap so you don't need a lot of skill power and skill cooldowns are something that you should rather spec into for the future of the game because it's getting changed into skill haste which can be 200 percent skill haste we can go it'll be all your mods will be elevated upwards so just keep that in mind guys always have your skill rolls in case things change but I just wanted to show you guys just a quick little guide and why you shouldn't overdo it. So let's go into something else. Now, this is something I wanted to show you guys as well. So if you have a look at some of these mods that we do have, uh, where is it here? Let me find it. All right. So some of your mods that you get have certain skill uh, incre increments. So if you guys know that the blind uh Firefly, sorry, I, I'm losing my words. The blind firefly. So you actually get mods that increase the duration of the enemies, players, or NPCs being blinded for. So this can really enhance your build. But that's not exactly what I wanted to get into. You get certain mods that actually increase the skill power of your actual skills. So you need to make sure that you always have a look to see what um, skill mods you actually have. That's protection from elite. So there's a lot of interesting things right here. This is what I want to show you guys. So I've got a mod here, 92 skill power. When you see it at first, it looks low, but we get 385 drone skill power from one mod. So I hear people telling me they've got two or uh, 3,000, 4,000 skill power. It's a complete waste. You've got all these mods that they're probably not even using. And when you can cap your skill cooldowns and your damage, to exactly where they should be without overdoing it and then specking into like having extra armor and things like that. And that really makes a skill power build. But I'm looking forward to the future, to the title update five, and we're gonna see how we can properly perfect these builds. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little skill build guide, uh, just to help everyone who did, maybe don't know. It took me a while to actually learn how to make these builds. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial, and I will be seeing you guys in the next video where we're going to be going over a lot of the new PTS details for Total Update 5. See you, agents.